What is poppin' everybody? I am Count Villario, Count Villario here with a guest narration for my man Dockeridge. And this is Snake FLCL versus Kushalos in NU. I think it's a side win nurse from FLCL versus the Nagas from Kushalos. And let's take a look at the matchups. Oh, they immediately lead off with Incineroar versus Peliswine. Assuming FLCL probably just wants to get up his rocks. Um, because Peliswine does get up versus Ratu, Zatu rather well. Um, I could see Koshalos just trying to get rid of this Piliswine quickly because Helilisk has a great matchup versus FLCL once this is gone. It could be a bulky Vikafold, but I'm not sure about that. He just goes hard to Zatu on the Willowisp. Nice prediction, I guess. Um, I think I would have gone for a knockoff myself there, but I understand why Willowisp because the EQ from uh, Piliswine would have either knocked it out or done a lot. Uh, because of the internet, I don't think it would have killed, especially because Willowisp indicates a uh, berry Incineroar. Like Ayapapa or something. He toxics as he stays in on, an, of course, on a knockoff. Um, not sure why FLCL let this out to take damage. Uh, because considering he has no special defensive uh, mom, I think that his slow bro is AV, which makes Basimian a lot tougher to deal with. As he U turns on the roost, which means Zatu is still very low. He could go Heatless Gear or Pelosant, maybe even uh, Sloking if he wanted to. I understand why he U-turned, because he probably didn't expect FCL to stay in again, but knockoff would have done less than 50, I think, so uh, the, the the Toxic would have just you know, gone up higher. So I guess that's why he U-turned, he didn't want to be Toxic much. Uh, he goes hard to Basimian, which is a weird play, because knockoff will not kill this, because his item is already gone. Um, unless it's Bandit, which I don't think it is. He could U-turn again, but then what, what go back into his hit roar? It's a bit of a weird play to me, but okay. Yeah, he just takes more tox as he roosts up again. Yeah, that's what I would have done too. Not sure why I went into Basimian there. It was a bit weird. Um, it looks to be Scarf Basimian though. Most of them are. I've seen some uh, Bandit, some Z-moves, but I usually assume they're Scarf Basimian. Um, with Clink Lang that's set up, his FLCL's Vikafold could be Specs, it could be Agility, it could be Bulky. On this team, I think it would be Specs. Because this is only real special breaker. I mean, if it is AV bro, that's going to hit hard as well. But yeah, it's where he turns on the Zatu. Um, Zatu already went for a move, obviously. So he could just go into Palisant now. Or heal this. I don't know why he went to Pessimian last time. I didn't like the play at all. He didn't He didn't gain anything. He just lost health on his Incineroar. Um, but yeah. I think that getting rocks up is really good for Kushalos. Because um, that makes his Pessimian a lot better to spam close combat or U-turn with. Uh, because the two mons that resist close combat, Zatu and Vikafold, of course Slowbro does too, but I'm leaving that out right now. So those two take a lot from rocks, uh, and Slowbro, if it is AV, it's going to take a shit ton from U-turn and knockoff. And at this point, it really looks like it to me. I, I don't see how this team would not be AV Slowbro. Um, he does go to Slowking, which is fair. A lot of them carry Zap Cannon too, um, or just called Ice Beam, whatever, because Slowking is almost always AV. You sometimes see a Nasibot Z-move one or Nasibot Life Orb, but that's not very common. Zatu U-turns on the Slowking, goes to his own Slowbro, let's see if it's AV, as it turns out to be. Uh, no burn, but a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Kushalos uh, could probably just stay in here, as he throws off a Grass Knot. Usually there's Zap Cannon nowadays, but Grass Knot works too. Uh, Vikavolt is a big threat, Bug Buzz, that Specs gets a Death Trap, doesn't matter. Uh, future Sight is going to hit something hard in the future, but for right now he kind of has to switch to Palisand? He can't really go to Pessimian. Palisand is going to take it decently well, it's going to do like... 40-ish, maybe a little bit less, but uh, something around that range. He doesn't really have another good switch in, uh, especially considering Incineroar at this range will die. But seeming a good switch in, but unless it's Rock Slide, it's not going to touch Vikavolt. Um, so yeah, Palisand makes the most sense. Bug was 35%. That eh, was about right what I said. He could try to get up his rocks here, but I could see FLCO go into Zatu here as well, trying to predict that. But rocks would be really good here. On the other hand, uh, shoring up is also important because Basimian on FLCL side... Uh, will become a big problem once this is gone. Uh, obviously, there's two Psychic types left, and I know that I keep saying that about Basimian, but like, it is strong, and um, your Psychic types will be hurt a lot by knockoff. It goes to Slowbro on a double to Incineroar, excuse me, Incineroar, which is interesting, because the future side was active anyway. Uh, I guess he could U-turn on knockoff here. I don't think FLCL should stay in on a knockoff, because he needs the he needs a special bulk on the Slowbro for the likes of Sloking, or even Heal Disc. Because it will take eight for both of those. Um, even take Shadow Balls from Palisand uh, decently. Which is probably why he went out into it. Expecting rocks maybe. I don't know. It was a weird mid-ground play. But I kind of understand it. 
Um, I would just knock off here with a Cinnamore if I were uh, Kushalos. As Passimian comes in, he U-turns. Makes sense because FLCL doesn't want his slow road to get knocked. And Kushalos read that. He could go into his Palisand here. Uh, try to get up his Rocks. Could even Zalto, but I think Palisand smoked sense. Uh, and if I were him, I would probably shore up. Because uh, Passimian is probably going to U-turn. He's going to do like 10-ish percent. And you're already down to half, which means the next time Passimian clicks knock off while you switch in, uh, you will be 2 would even through a potential Kolber. Uh, which is the item most pilot sense run. He goes to Pit of Swine on the shore up. Um, I could see Koshalos try to go to Zato here, which is why FLCL's Ice Cook Crash is. Uh, I could see Ice Cook Crash coming in. Like, they could they could trade rocks here as well, but I feel like Koshalos doesn't want to risk his pilot sense right now with the Ice Cook Crash. Um, and he doesn't really have a good switch in outside of maybe Sloking. He does stay in. As he gets up his rocks, which is really, really big, as I said before. Uh, that's really nice for uh, Passimian for you turning around or just clicking close combat. Um, it's interesting he wanted to let his Petoswine take this hit as well, because healers could be a big problem. A lot of a lot of them carry either Surf or Focus Blast. Actually, all of them do, as far as I know. Um, so he only needs to catch Petoswine once, and that's a big problem. Zato is in on the rocks. Very nice play. If I were as FLCO, I would rock up again because he is not staying in with Zato on this potential Ice Go Crash. Um, he's probably going to go to what, Incineroar or Sloking. Um, but, ooh, he actually stays into Toxic as FCL reads that really good. Zatu kind of scared out now because uh, Ice Shot from Pillar Spine is very well coming in. Uh, the damage on Zatu is nice though, for sure. Especially because it is in range of rocks now and Pillar Spine carries out Zatu anyway. So I could see getting a rocks for FCL is a big feature. Incineroar comes in on the Ice Shard, doesn't do much, they both take Toxic damage as... I'm not sure what FLCL wants to do here, because does he want to let this get knocked off? Then Healus becomes a big problem, and I could see Koshalos just new U-turning as well. Yeah, predicting FLCL to not want to get knocked off. And he could just go to Zatu, see if he wants to get Rocks up again. If he doesn't, then Pillar Spine is in range of close combat. And you don't really have a good reason not to click it here, because the Rocky Helmet is gone from Zatu. Rocks are up. I don't think it 2 KOs, but that's fine. He has Bulk up. Oh, is this... Is it just gonna win? Knockoff? It showed U-turn, knockoff, and close combat, right? Um, hmm. Hmm. Is it Z-move? Z, Z knockoff? Z U-turn? Because I don't really see another Z-move user besides maybe Heedalisk. As he goes to Slowbro. Um, and Z-move... Savage Pinout. So Z U-turn. That's fire. As it just gets straight up knocked out. I think FCL should have scouted there. Because the Z-move was rather obvious, in my opinion. And this Passimian is not going to kill it. If he goes for close combat, he just gets KO'd of the close combat after. I don't know if Pillar Swine dies. I think it, it should at plus one. Um, and I think Link Lang should as well. So I don't think bulking up again is necessary. But uh, it's looking pretty over. Especially because rocks are up for the Vika Fold as well. And I'm assuming plus one knockoff is going to knock it out after the rocks. Uh, because it's specs, right? It's not the bulky Vika Fold. Which, by the way, I think is really good right now. Uh, but yeah, I think it's fairly safe to close combat here, especially considering the Simeon is Scarf. So if he close combat himself, he has to crit. And if he doesn't, then he gets defense dropped and he will die anyway. Don't know how much uh, speed slash bulk, is, bulk up Simeon is running. I've never used it myself, but that's a very interesting set. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything wrong with close combat here. I guess the, the one wrong thing is if he U-turns here, the Simeon of FSL. Then you get a defense drop with your own, and that's not something you want. Uh, so I could see him try to bulk up again, maybe? He does. Okay, yeah, like I said, if, if Passimian on FLCL side you turned there, he would have been at neutral, and his own Passimian could have, uh, you know, maybe done the job if he won another 50-50, which he didn't. But he bulks up again, and I think he's just very safe to click close combat right now. Uh, is he? I don't think... I, I think it's still a 50-50, but plus two... Plus two defense should be enough to where close combat doesn't kill. Exactly. And plus one probably was as well. So he knocks out the Passimian and... I really think this is just game. Uh, you just close combat literally everything. You could just knock off the Vikavol 2 if you wanted to. Um, FCL has to ice shard crit the Passimian right now. In order to even have a chance. To maybe ha get Clink Lang to sweep. Like Clink Lang has a chance to sweep if this Passimian actually dies. But it's not large because every single thing hits it super effectively besides healers. But that hits it with potentially Specs Thunderbolt. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking that 
the slow king is fire blast which is why it said that so it really only set up on zato which is already gone as obviously it's taken a while to think i think he just has to ice shot crit him nothing else that speeds it unless it's a very very speedy clink clank but they usually run uh only like 90 speed because after shift gear you would speed the entire metagame anyway he doesn't crit close combat knocks him out knocks him the fuck out and yeah that that just came he already said gg another close combat and i think five volt might actually go down to close combat but also safer to just click knockoff because it's just you know stronger and we don't know how bulky this Vikavolt Volt is. Knockoff. Does he knock off specs? It was Metronome. Wow, that's a really interesting set. But yeah, that's actually going to be it. Uh, FLCO got 5 0 by Kushalos, which is, uh, you know, GG. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Dark Rich. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, later.